Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Tan, aka Tan E76. In this video, I'm just gonna give a quick update on my PT test results. Hey guys, so it has been almost a month. So in the entire month of October, my unit was doing mock PT tests. Luckily, I got the chance to use the scores from my first mock PT test as my official one. So I scored an 80 i think i don't really remember i have been recording and vlogging up until that moment which was probably about the first week or second week of october i also made a previous video it's kind of like compressing all those videos and then some and i watched it back and i really wasn't happy with what i was seeing so here we are take two so i'm about to be a whole year into the air force i have basically maybe three weeks until i officially make my year mark and it just feels super surreal time really went by super fast i have made a lot of changes in this year and you know i just thought to myself that i need to like reflect on my journey and sort of like come up with some questions that i think anyone wanting to join would want to know so here we are i'm gonna pull up my laptop that has the questions that I have curated. You guys know, you know, you're more than welcome to message me on Instagram, Twitter, um, Snapchat, whatever you'd like. I am here for you. Um, if I don't have the answers right away, I'll get them for you, and that is a promise. So I just have six questions. So let's jump into them. First question is, do I feel comfortable where I'm at right now? I know that before I might have said that I didn't really like the base that I'm at, but right now I've kind of like got comfortable and used to the pace that we have and I kind of really like it here, you know? One of the beauties of being in the military is that you get to experience different things and you have to see the positive side of everything and the positive side of this base is that it is a small base, I get to network a lot easier if i put myself out there some more i get to just understand and learn my job more in depth there's not much to do in the surrounding areas but the base itself is like perfect to me i honestly feel like everything happens for a reason and my reason for being here was for me to like just have time to refocus and work on my goals because i like i said i've accomplished so much you know so far and I don't think I would have gotten that opportunity if I was somewhere else. I probably would have, you know, been putting stuff off. This base is like perfect. The next question is, do I wish I signed for four years instead of six? And the answer to that is still a hard no. I signed for six initially for a specific reason, which was to just kind of like have more time to accomplish a lot of my goals that I wanted to accomplish in my first contract. and. I don't think I could have done a lot of the things in four years, so I won't regret signing for six. Would I recommend signing for six to anybody? I would say it's up to you. Four years is still kind of long. Six years is just two more years, so it's like, if you're in the position where you're just like uncertain about what you really want and you just want to like have a feel of the Air Force, I would say sign the shortest contract, which would be four years, but honestly, it's up to you. So the next question is how do I feel living on dorms? I have gotten a couple questions about dorm life on Vance Air Force Base. With this dorm setup, you have to share bathrooms with someone next door. So that's technically your suite mate. And usually like senior airmen, they get to move out of these conjoined suites and they have um, what's called like an airman suite, which has their own bathroom. It's a little bit more spacious. Like when I tell you this room is super small, like if I kick my foot out right now, I'm gonna hit the wall locker. Uh, what do you, I don't know what you call this, but if I kick my foot out right now, I'm gonna hit it. So it's that kind of small. But honestly, I'm not complaining. Like I said, I just I just go with the flow. That's me. I'm that type of person. I roll with the punches. I think the first question was, do I feel comfortable with where I'm at? Yeah. I forgot to mention that. You know, this is a small base in a small town in the middle of Oklahoma. I'm not sure if it's in the middle, it's probably the north of Oklahoma. There's not many people of color around um, in this town and a lot of them are on this base. So when I get off base and, you know, I go to places like Walmart and stuff like that, you know, I'm definitely... <sighs> I could have main character syndrome 
but I definitely get, you know, a little bit of looks sometimes, you know, people are just like, I, I wonder what's going through their heads, honestly, when they're like staring at me, but I would say that's the thing that I'm actively trying to get comfortable with is just being okay with understanding that, you know, this is gonna happen. I wasn't used to this when I was living in New York or Maryland, so this is definitely like a big adjustment. Kind of like getting used to it, sadly. Yeah. So back to the question about how much do I like dorm life. One big important thing that I would like to cover on is mental health. I think when you get assigned to any new base as a junior enlisted um, airman and you are living on dorms, I feel like you need to understand that you have to prioritize your mental health over everything it's easy to sulk into depression or sulk into anxiety and everything negative but you literally have to fight your way out of it if you are suffering through something like that and i really wish people would be a little bit more open to like expressing themselves and i for one i am open arms i'm a shoulder lead on for anyone that is going through something i do not like hearing when people are you know considering or contemplating you know doing something harmful to themselves i would say that's like number one priority is to prioritize your mental health it is super duper duper important the next question is have you accomplished any goals in this year so one of my main goals was to enlist and i did i I'm almost done with my virtual tech school. I have two more weeks, I think. Yeah, I have two more weeks of tech school, so I'm basically almost gonna be a five level. I have literally accomplished more than I thought I would in the first year, and I am super duper proud of myself. I'm super motivated to continue going and keep the street going. I literally have like a list in my notes app with things that I want to accomplish, and it's super satisfying to be clicking picking off all those things that i wanted to tackle next question is how do i feel about re-enlisting so when i got to my first duty station and i was just trying to get comfortable trying to like understand my job yada 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 i honestly really sat down with my room and i was like i don't think i can do this for another six years or i don't think i can go on to 20 years but i completely understand now that's the main theme of this entire realization being in the military for a year is that I understand. I now understand everything. The reason why I didn't want to re-enlist was I feel like I don't really remember what had happened that made me feel that way, but I have a goal of commissioning for my next contract. So I don't know if that doesn't work out. Um, I'm not opposed to re-enlisting as an enlisted member, but the main goal is to commission next. And I'm really excited for that because I have an enlisted point of view of things. I think it gives me like a, a, a few steps ahead, you know, when I'm a new officer with other new officers. That's basically all the questions that I could come up with. If you guys came up with any other questions that you'd like me to answer you can drop them in the comments below or you could message me privately and i will answer you guys um but yeah that concludes this video basically i passed my pt test you know even though i got below 90 i know that i could have you know tried again and see if i could get a 90 but i honestly was super grateful when i got that 80 something look it is what it is. I was just like, I'm just glad I passed. I didn't want to do that again, so I was okay. My next PT test is going to be um, April something. I'm not sure, but yeah. I passed my PT test, but we all knew that was going to happen, y'all. Um, thank you so much for sitting and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time. I'm not sure when it's going to be because... Your girl ran out of content. I really don't know what to make right now, but yeah, that is all. I will see you guys next time.